everyone, starting up your USANA business can be very overwhelming. There will be probably a lot of hows, whys, and what. What skills do we need to learn first? What are the basic things we need to focus on? What should be our priorities? And what should be our goals? Our speaker can definitely relate to all of these questions. He is a certified public accountant without any background in business. But he was very motivated to pursue his USANA career to give his family, most especially his mom, a comfortable life. How crucial is your 90 days with USANA? You will learn a lot from our speaker today, Ruby Director Mark Kutamora. Thank you, Ms. Michelle, for that very wonderful introduction. So I'm here today to share to you my experience in our first 90 days in, as a USANA associate. So I know there's a lot of new associates out there listening today, and I get your back, guys. Upon registration and enrolling in our USANA business, we, should, we usually don't know what we do first. So first things first, Add the important numbers to your cell phone or notebook, like the customer service number, your enrollment date, your USANA ID number, and your Premier Platinum Paysetter or PPPS deadline. Also, log on to our hub and familiarize the pages, like the enrollment page, the USANA Media Center, and the auto order page. Get connected to USANA social media like Facebook, Twitter, the USANA WhatsApp blog, and the Viber community of your, country, of your USANA country. So, set up your business, create your website, open and update your bank account, and uh, st start to set up your first auto order. So, next thing is you have to, me you have to meet with your sponsor and make a business action plan. So work with your sponsor on um, planning how to become a PPPS. So to become a PPPS, you have to sponsor at least four people in your organization with a total purchase of 1,600 sales volume points. So your PPPS will be your immediate goal. Take note that Premier Platinum Pace Setter will have a bigger impact in your business in the long run. So after adding all those inform informations to your notebook or cell phone, the next thing we need to do is to know the value of USANA and of course, experience it ourselves. So first, use USANA products. Develop your own personal story that you can share with others. So be your own be your own best customers and be the product of your, of your product. Just remember to be compliant. So customize your monthly auto order and, in, and make sure that you include your products that you consume daily. So me personally, I really love USANA Cell Essentials because it helps me energize my days. So I make sure that it's part of my auto order since I started my USANA business. And I'm taking that product for almost five years now. So become familiar with your products by attending product trainings and watching product videos. This will help you know the products that is fit for your customer's need. So again, it is important that we embody the core value of USANA. And one of it is health. And what's better way to partner with our healthy lifestyle? Of course, taking our favorite USANA products. After that, is talk about your why. Now, this is my favorite part. So when my sponsor asked me, what's my why in doing this business? I told him, can I just copy yours? So this part sounds cheesy, but this is actually one of the most important thing that we need to have clarity. Find your why. Whatever your motivation, whatever your why, keep it close to you. 
What is your reason for being part of Yusana? What will push you to try harder every day? Your why will keep the fire burning inside you. And when you feel discouraged, it can help you a lot. When you feel overwhelmed, when you feel like throwing out the towel, your why will remind you the reason you started in the first place. When you feel rejected, your why will make you try again and try harder. So my personal why is my family, especially my mom. So my mother, I really wanted to give the best life for her, a good life for her, because he, she, was, she has been a single mother and our single sole provider for almost 20 years. So she worked as a volunteer, a barangay health worker in our barangay, and just earning around $10 per month. So that's around 500 Philippine peso per month. So I grew up seeing our financial problems every day, and our life is just for survival. Isang kahig, isang tuka, or from hand to mouth living. Life is so hard for her, as long as I can remember. That is why... I, I want to really so become successful financially so I could give back the best life for her as well. So now you have your why. The next thing we need to do is set our goals. So set your true goals and dreams, knowing what is your why on joining Yuzana. What is your goal in the next three to six months? One year to two years? How about three years to 10 years. So what is your why? Ask yourself, what is your true goal? And make a dream board and place it where you can always see it. Goals may include personal development, learning new things, acquiring new things, investing, saving, and many more. Set both long-term and immediate goal as well. Some of my personal goals when I started my Isana business is to at least pay my family's debts, to renovate and rebuild our home, to bring my family to different travels. And for almost five years of consistent hard work and efforts in doing Isana business, I am so happy that I was able to get some of my why when I started. For example, some of the Isana incentive that I have worked on, I was able to bring my family there in Vietnam, in Bali, Indonesia, in um, Shangri-La, Boracay, and in Asian Cruise. So I was also able to give back to my mom for her help because of the Isana products that she is taking up until now. So when you have already your why, you have set your goals, now, let's turn that goals and why into reality by setting up commitments. Turn your goals into reality. Let's have an activity today, okay? Fill in the sign. So get your pen and notebook and write down what can you commit in your Yusana business, especially as a newbie. So fill in the blanks that you can see in the screen. So me personally, when I started my business, I started part-time and I am working, I am committed to work at least 14 hours on a weekly basis, doing it part-time. And I committed myself to be working with my sponsor for at least a minimum of 13 months. So I am so committed with my Usana business as I am committed with my job. So next thing is, of course, to master our emotion. So in our, our Yusana business will not be a smooth, smooth sale journey. So you will, every associate, most of us, will likely face a roller coaster of emotion as you get your business off the ground. But remember, don't give up. Remember what your why your commitments, and your goals. They will bring you back up to where you are and you can find success eventually. 
So anticipate that your journey will be ups and downs. So that's the key. So anticipate it. So from enrolling in your Yosana business that you are so excited, from the moment that you will become skeptical, and then the moment you have your first sale, and your family members or your friends will discourage you, they will not patronize your product up to the moment that, we, that they will be in love with your products. It's going to be a roller coaster of emotion. The, the, tip here, the tip is don't take it personal. Just learn along the way and respond well. And always go back to your why. Then, we have already set our commitments, our goals, and why. All we need to do is learn the basic skills in this business. So we just have a few things that we have to learn. The basic skills that we have to master and we have to keep on repeating so we can master it. First, prospecting or contact listing. So create your first 200 list. And continually grow that list every day. So just add at least two. So prospecting is a lifestyle. And make it part of your lifestyle so it will not be heavy for you. Write down everyone you know. E never prejudge anyone. And just ask for referrals from your friends, from your family. And add someone to your list every day, at least two. So for you to master these skills... Don't forget to attend your team trainings every day. So next is inviting. So master the art of inviting and start contacting your list. Find individuals who are seeking to improve their health, their finances, or even their relationships. So find, individu find those individuals, review their needs, and ask your sponsor to create or provide or structure a proper invitation. So next skill that we have to learn is to present. Of course, in order to develop a team, you need to take action, okay? So even if you don't have the perfect presentations yet, start sharing the business and the products now. You can do one-on-one -on -one presentation. You can even use our flip charts or product magazines or you can use our health and freedom orientations online. So next, after presentation, is to follow up. Attend your team trainings on how to follow up so you can master the skills. Following up is staying in contact with someone so they can get all the information that they needed before they make a decision. So establish a follow-up time during the presentation. For example, after the presentation, ask your, your guest or your prospect that you will call them in the next 24 hours or 48 hours. So make sure to follow up within 24 to 48 hours. Be, be consistent and organized in making follow-ups. So what's the next skill? Closing. Learn the art of closing by attending your team trainings. So closing is just asking the right questions and being an expert and help them to have a right decision. It's like being a consultant to solve the problem that they need. So set up additional follow-up meeting after you close the presentation. And one of the most important skills that we have to learn is overcoming objection, rejection, and criticisms. Learn how to handle objections criticisms, and rejections, again, by attending your team trainings. So common objections or rejections are, I have no time. I have no money. I'm not a salesperson. Is this a pyramid scheme? I don't know anyone. I can't do that. I don't need supplements. I don't take nutritionals. All of these questions are common, and everyone in our USANA community are facing these questions. So don't be afraid, and all you need to do is learn from your team, from your sponsor, how to respond to these kind of questions. These kinds of questions doesn't mean that they don't like the opportunity. It means 
that they just need more information for them to get started. So after all of those skills, one important skills of a USANA associate is to be a good promoter. So promoting events. So promote events to build your belief in the company by attending events. You should always attend as many events as possible. Register early for your upcoming events and bring your new team's members with you. So the question is, how many, how many are you in your team who are in right now? So your goal is to double that number on the next event. Okay? So remember, repetition is the mother of mastery. So keep in attending trainings until you master the skills. So how about if I started part-time? So now we will go to how to manage our time. So because most of USANA associates start part-time like me, that means working two to 14 hours or two to 10 hours per week in your USANA business while working in your daily job. But remember, with commitment and being conscious to focus on the 80 to 90% of your time to the revenue generating activities and putting the 10 to 20% of your time to non generating, non revenue generating activities, it is very possible for someone to develop a very successful USANA business. Again, it's possible to develop a very USANA, a successful USANA business even if you are part time. So what are some of the revenue generating activities that you can do when you are just starting? So here are some. Meeting and building relationships by connecting with people, your friends, your family from different social media channels or different platforms. So making phone calls and setting up presentations, giving presentations, getting referrals, and bringing guests to USANA and your team events. So now, what are those non-generating, non-revenue generating activities? This includes sending emails, designing your website, listening to educational podcasts or audios, attending live events, team building, reading personal development books, writing USANA video, watching USANA videos, role playing with your sponsor or team members. So just allocate your time with a focus on the revenue generating activities. So what if you are so busy? What if you have a very hectic schedule? Is, this, is it still possible to build your business? Yes, by doing the power hour. It's amazing what you can accomplish in an hour if you really put your mind to it and focus on what's important. Few things to gear up, your inviting, your presentation, your follow-up, and closing to build your USADA business. So first, dedicate a block time to your USADA business. Don't allow interruptions. Find a dedicated workspace. Keep away from distractions. Ask your family for their cooperations. Get your energy up. Don't worry about your next check. Remember, this is about helping others and keep your focus on them. Don't forget to smile. Display goals and dreams, dream boards, so you will always be reminded. Do not stop until your list is exhausted or your one hour runs out. So usually the first call is tough. It's the hardest. The second call is so-so, but by the third call, you're already warm up and up on the roll. So that's when it becomes fun, okay? So you'll feel great, your business will start to grow, and you'll be one step closer to your goals. So after all of those things that you have learned on your first 90 days, don't stop your personal growth. Building your USANA business takes consistent time and effort in working within 
the four basic pillars of success. So what are those pillars? We have the products, we have the company, the industry, and yourself. So use and share the products daily and learn the product line and make it a lifestyle. Attend local and international conventions and register to all USANA trainings that are near to your area. Good thing right now, there's a lot of online trainings that is promoted and is available. Subscribe to USANA social media and keep updated. So become sincerely enthusiastic and knowledgeable about the direct sales industry and break stereotypes and myths by learning the industry. This is a noble career and a profession. So how about yourself? Stretch yourself beyond your comfort zone. Take actions each day and as you grow, your business will grow. Remember, people are interested in taking a look at what you're doing because of you. Be confident, be patient, and stay committed in the process. So, enjoy your first 90 days. This is only the beginning of your USANA journey and your vibrant success story. Always be available wherever you are and bring your energy, excitement, and enthusiasm to your USANA journey. So, thank you. Thank you, Mark. That was really very helpful. It may sound complicated, but I can feel that our new associates are so excited to put everything in and get started. We have to put in mind that your first 90 days with USANA will not be that easy. I agree with Mark when he shared, always remember your why. Why you started the USANA business. Of course, you have to learn the journey, develop yourself, and most of all, have fun. Have a wonderful USANA journey.